Bosio. My name is Nell Pam, and today we are going to be doing a writing challenge. Because I just finished a online English course, and I have so much literary talent to share with you, and I just, I just need to show a smidgen. I can't open the gates and just have you all die like they do in later Raiders of the Lost Ark. And when the Ark opens and everybody's faces just melt away. I don't want to do that to my lovely audience. I love you guys. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you a little peek of what of what I have in my literary satchel. As you can see here on the lovely screen that has taken me hours to figure out how to do, it's a plot generator. So let's get our little plot here. Your main character is a young man in his late teens who is very considerate. The story begins in a prison. A town is snowed in at Christmas. It's a story about vengeance. Your character reluctantly becomes involved. Are you ready? Are you, are you guys ready to experience something truly magical? Mm, huh? I'm seeing looks of doubt here. And we don't want to see doubt here. If we if we have that kind of mentality, then where are we gonna go? Nowhere. So exactly. Good job, you. So let's let's get this show on the flipping road. Oh gosh, the way <laughs> the way those seconds are ticking down. Oh, the milliseconds, I guess, is making me really nervous. But there's no time for that. We gotta get going. This is going really well. The story begins in prison. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I, I see spelling errors. I'm going to try and change them to not embarrass myself completely. So I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's read this wonderful masterpiece that I have for you. Because every masterpiece is rushed to the very end, right? <laughs> Rob is a young, considerate gent in his late teens. As nice as he is, he is in prison now. How can he be nice if he's in prison? You'll see. He lived in a small town that is always snowing, meaning that it is always Christmas there. This is a small town where Christmas always lies in the hearts of all. Rob's friends and family were shocked at the disgraceful acts that he would commit. What are those, you may ask? Well, murder! <laughs> For you see, there is not much this boy could do but murder. <laughs> not for the sake of his own life, but for the sake of his entire town. Oh boy. That sentence is really gonna come and bite me in the ass at the end of this. <laughs> it was a snowy day in Rob's small town. There were festive lights and carols echoed in the merry streets. No people really visited there because the stores were always closed on Christmas. And Christmas in this town was every day. As the carolers continued, puffs of smoke drew near like a rain cloud on a sunny day. No one knew that smoke... That smoke would soon bring on death. The smoke was a trail left behind from an old truck that wheezed and huffed its way through the snow. Rob watched curiously at the truck, for he never saw a running car before. Because it's it always snows there, so you can't really drive on snow. The truck stopped beside Rob. A rolled down window revealed an old man with a sour face. There was no Christmas spirit in his soul. You're going to kill some people and like it, the old man said. How about I don't, said Rob. The people here are too nice to kill. The old man didn't care. He threw Rob in the, in the back of his truck and went, went on his way. Where are you taking me, oh you old man? Rob asked. To go kill people, the old man responded. My knees gave out on me long ago, and I can't do the killing alone. Why do you want to kill so badly? Why here and now on Christmas? Surely you could wait another day. 
Surely not, you idiot boy. For it is Christmas every day. Why, you may ask? Because I used to live in this town and didn't get what I always wanted. So I want to seek vengeance on all who live here. Not only for betraying me, but for experiencing everything I never had. They stepped out of the car and the old man gave the boy a weapon of indiscernible features. Now go, boy, the old man said. But I don't want to, said Rob. But he did it anyway and then went to prison for it. It was really a sh quite a shame, since Rob was such a nice guy. But hey, at least the old man got what he wanted. And we were really rooting for him this old time, right? Great, great storytelling. We got, we got everything in there, though. We got the main character. He's a young man in his late teens. Got that right in the first sentence. Who is very considerate. He's a considerate gent. So we got that in there. The story begins in prison. Well, kind kind of. He's in prison now, where most of the story is taking place in the past, so there you go. A town is snowed in at Christmas. Town snowed in. It's Christmas every day. The story is about vengeance. We got the old, very ven vengeful old man. And your character reluctantly come in, becomes involved. Well, Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, we got that. Your main character. Main character is Rob. So, yeah, we we got that in there. Yay. When I first wrote that, I was like, he's gonna kill people because if he doesn't, then the like, old man will kill everybody. But instead of that, he just ended up killing everybody in his town. <laughs> and I don't know why. I don't know why Rob decided to do that. He was supposed to be so nice, but now he's in prison. For killing everyone. And that's why Christmas Town no longer exists. You didn't know this was an origin story. And why towns no longer have Christmas every day. We get a lot of vengeful old men. That's going to be the end of this very, very lovely video that you just experienced with your eyes. If you liked it, if you want more, let me know. I'm very happy to do whatever. It is you guys want. Well, not literally everything, but you know what I mean. This video is going to be over now, okay? So bye. Bye.